Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Robert. This is the first video out of four videos I'm making for you guys regarding how to start your own short-term rental operation. And these are very tactical, very informative videos that I'm putting out there. So if you guys are curious or if you guys want to start, be sure to follow along with this series. I'm going to be providing you guys with four actionable things that you guys can start in order to get from point A to point B with this business model. Hey guys, my name is Robert. Before I get started, I am filming with a new camera. Shout out to Scott Hilsey. I'm sure you guys know who he is by now. Anyone who's in the online e-commerce space should have seen his video pop up uh, on recommended like 10 times in a row. It was a privilege meeting him and it was cool that he actually sold me his camera. So hopefully this camera is good luck. He has the Mark IV, he has the 5D Mark IV. This is the Mark III. So I'm getting used to uh, the filming setup and seeing how it, how it works a little bit differently. Honestly guys, I think this little Canon G7X does a really good job. That's what I've been using to film all of my videos prior to using this big guy. First step you have to take in order to start your short-term rental operation. And I'm saying short-term rental because I don't want to just condense it down to one home sharing website. I don't want to just put it all down on Airbnb uh, because there's two out there that are really effective and they have a really large uh, marketplace, a really large audience for you to use. So of course you guys know there's Airbnb and then there's Homeway. Uh, these are two really big platforms that I'm currently using and any of you guys can start using them as well. To start using these platforms effectively, the first thing you have to do is look into your local area and look at the rules and regulations regarding short-term rentals. I know some areas may not have anything set up for the time being, they don't have anything in place and it's just kind of in the air and a lot of areas have already come down on this business model and they've already regulated it. Uh, my city being one of those areas that have just recently passed regulations for this business model. So start with doing a quick Google search, uh, for instance, short-term rental regulations in blank, whatever city you live in. Across the states, it varies. I know some cities are more lenient and some cities are super strict on the regulations. So be sure that you know exactly what to expect uh, right from the get-go. So before you've done this Google search and you've found out the regulations, I wouldn't really get into any other steps. This is most important because I've heard that in Portland, I was actually listening to another podcast regarding short-term rentals and uh, these people that were doing it in Portland, they were fined a thousand dollars a day that they were operating without a permit. I also had a subscriber drop a comment and say that he was posted with $20,000 worth of fines across the board in his properties uh, in California. So that is that. And he said he was in Anaheim. So you don't want to be in any situation where you're getting fined by the city. This is a huge, huge uh, downside to short-term rentals. So just make sure you're compliant, make sure you get your permit, make sure that you know the rules and regulations. Uh, the next thing you need to do is read the terms of service on Airbnb side. Be sure that you have a building that you can use that complies with Airbnb's terms of service. Don't be using some sketchy fixture, like some sketchy part of you know an upstairs loft that isn't regulated and isn't safe be sure to go in and read the entire terms of service it may only take you like five minutes to read it uh, just make sure that whatever you decide you know whatever property that you decide you're willing to use or if you don't already have property make sure the property that you're looking for complies with airbnb's terms of service and so after finding out your cities and your local laws regarding short-term rentals and after reading the airbnb terms of service be sure to comply with everything. This is the last and final step uh, to part one. Make sure that whatever you decide to do, you are doing it the right way, you're doing it legally. You don't want to be caught up in a big mess, uh, being posted with fines, all that kind of stuff. That's just a big headache at the end of the day and that you could easily avoid by just doing everything the right way. So guys, first things first, go find the regulations, read the terms of service, and lastly, be sure to comply. And if that's a multi-step process like it is for, you know, in my situation, just go through it and ask questions, go to the city hall, find out what exactly it is you have to do. I find that the city hall, they'll gladly help you and they'll walk you through their, the process of regulations. I spent about four hours there uh, the other day just bombarding everyone with questions, getting as much information out of it as possible. And I'm glad that I'm going through this myself because it gives me more knowledge, more experience in this field. And that is going to give me the upper hand in the future when people are looking for information or when people need help starting this business model. All right, guys, like I said before, this is going to be a four step series, a four part series with four separate videos. And this is the one of four. I hope this is very helpful information for you guys. And I hope that you guys can take action on it right off the bat. 
I'm just gonna throw this out there. The reason I'm making these videos ahead of time is because I'm getting married on Saturday. So Friday I have friends coming in from out of town and I'm gonna be really preoccupied. I don't have time to film any content whatsoever. And Monday I'm leaving for Bali, Indonesia and I won't have time to film while I'm you know, going through the entire traveling process. These videos will be pre-recorded and I'll be uploading them the, starting today, Friday, Monday, and then the following Wednesday. You guys have something to look forward to as far as a tactical approach to starting a short-term rental for anyone who has no idea where to begin. With that being said, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next one.